Cristiano Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the greatest players of all time. After leaving England, Ronaldo went on to conquer Spain, Italy and the whole of Europe over and over again. Now, 12 years later, the soon-to-be 37-year-old has made a dramatic return to Old Trafford. Many doubters said that he was too old to do it in the Premier League again, but as always, Cristiano has proved them all wrong. He has since scored four goals in three matches, with a brace on his second debut. While others his age are slowing down, Cristiano seems to be accelerating, never taking his foot off the gas pedal. Ronaldo left Spanish giants Real Madrid to join Juventus at the age of 33. During his routine transfer medicals, he shocked the Italian doctors with his physique and fitness. According to his medical results at the time, he had the ideal body of a 20-year-old. Ronaldo had just 7% body fat, which is 3% less than the average footballer. He also had 50% muscle mass, which is 4% more than the average footballer. In the 2018 World Cup, Ronaldo hit top speed of 34 km per hour, making him the joint fastest player at the tournament alongside Rebic, who is 11 years younger than the Portuguese legend. But how does he do it? How can a 37-year-old man keep up with the pace and physicality of the Premier League? In today's video, we'll be looking at the secrets behind Cristiano Ronaldo's superhuman physique and how he's managed to stay incredibly fit all these years. Number one, he has a very strict diet. The saying, you are what you eat, is certainly something Cristiano takes to heart. When asked about his diet, Ronaldo said, a good workout must be combined with a good diet. So I eat a high protein diet with lots of whole grain carbs, fruits and vegetables, and I avoid sugary foods. Anyone who watched Euro 2020 will remember the infamous Ronaldo versus Coke incident. Before the start of an interview, Ronaldo pushed away two bottles of Coke across the table from him, replacing them with water instead. As he did this, he said into the mic, drink water instead. This shows just how much he cares about what he puts into his body. He doesn't take any carbonated drinks or alcohol, but he definitely drinks a lot of water. In his own words, drinking water is so important. For breakfast, Ronaldo likes to have things like cheese, ham, low-fat yogurt, and a lot of fruit and avocados. He also encourages people to eat frequently, but in smaller portions. Portions. So instead of the regular breakfast, lunch and dinner, Ronaldo eats up to six smaller meals throughout the day. That way he always has the energy required to perform at the highest level during every training session. Patrice Evra was very surprised when Cristiano invited him over for lunch. He said all he ate were vegetables and white chicken. He sat there waiting for the main course or at least some juice until Cristiano stood up and said it was time to train. That's when he realized that was the entire meal. Number two, workout regimen. As you can clearly tell, Ronaldo works out like a beast. He starts with a warm up to reduce his risk of injury. So things like running around the pitch, stretching and some cardio. Then afterwards, he does a mix of cardiovascular training and of course, on the pitch training. For cardio training, he likes to run, row and lift weights. He loves to mix things up to keep things interesting. After all, variety is the spice of life. He also makes sure to target every single muscle group in his body so he can improve his strength and stamina. When out on the pitch, Ronaldo mainly focuses on high intensity real match scenarios. He does a lot of sprinting drills and of course, practicing moments of magic that he would want to recreate come match day. Yes guys, those bicycle kicks don't just appear out of thin air, they've all been practiced in training. Ronaldo doesn't believe that exercises should only be done in the gym or are meant to be restricted to a particular time. In his words, fit in exercise wherever you can. You can do an abs workout in your bedroom when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed. If you get into a routine, then that makes it easier as it will become a habit. Number three, he snuck into the gym at night to work out. Ronaldo has always had the desire to be a step above everyone else. Right from when he was a child at sporting, Cristiano would sneak out of the dormitory in the middle of the night to train while everyone was sleeping, just so he could increase his strength. I started sneaking out of the dormitory at night to go work out. I got bigger and faster, and then I would walk onto the field and the people who used to whisper, yeah, but he's so skinny. Now they were looking at me like it was the end of the world. Rio Ferdinand once said that any time training was over at Man United, while all the players headed for the dressing room, Ronaldo would stay back just to continue his routine. He was always the first one to show up for training and the last one to leave. Even his manager at Juve, Pirlo, once confirmed that in an interview. Number four, he naps all day. Everything about Cristiano is extraordinary, including the way he sleeps. Unlike most other regular humans who sleep eight hours a night, Ronaldo never sleeps more than two hours at a stretch, ever. Ronaldo works with sleep expert Nick Littlehales, who believes that athletes are better rested when they take multiple naps throughout the day 
rather than one full night's sleep. According to Little Hales, Ronaldo is on a 90 minute sleep five times a day schedule. With this pattern of sleeping, Cristiano can keep an extremely packed schedule without having to rule out an entire eight hour period for sleep. He can also keep his body extremely alert and prevent himself from ever getting sedentary. Before we look at Ronaldo's biggest secret, for more secrets about your favorite footballers, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Number five, cryotherapy. Probably the biggest secret to his superhuman physique, Cristiano Ronaldo treats himself like Captain America after every match. One of the biggest roadblocks for athletes is recovery. After the game, after an injury, having to just sit around until your body fully recovers robs you of precious time that can be used to improve your skills. In 2013, Ronaldo learned from Frank Ribéry the wonders of cryotherapy and installed a chamber in his house which cost £50,000, mere peanuts compared to what he earns in a week. However, it would repay every single penny and more for the Man United star. After every game, Ronaldo stands in his cryo chamber for three minutes. Liquid nitrogen then freezes his entire body down to between minus 160 and minus 200 degrees Celsius. This helps combat muscle soreness, reduce inflammation and swellings, and heal sprains. Ronaldo comes out of the chamber completely rejuvenated and ready to take on the next opponent. Cristiano Ronaldo certainly looks like a player that can keep on doing it at the highest level well into his 40s. At the age of 36, he's taken on a new challenge to conquer the Premier League again, and his body is definitely well up to the task. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video.